In 2003, in a Florida state prison, a convicted murderer, Court Gentry, is visited by Donald Fitzroy, a CIA recruiter. After going over Gentry's files and background, Fitzroy offers him a job working for the Sierra program as part of an elite unit to hunt down specific targets for the government. He will be invisible to the world, known only as a gray man. 18 years later in Bangkok, Gentry, who is now employed by the CIA as an assassin, under the codename Sierra 6, is tasked with taking out a target referred to as Dining Cart. Aiding him is fellow assassin Danny Miranda, while superiors Denny Carmichael and Suzanne Brewer keep eyes on him. Six goes and prepares himself for the hit, but before he can take out the target, he holds back when a child shows up. Six goes off the plan and goes after Dining Cart after he triggers the fire alarm, just as the fireworks outside go off. He silently takes out Dining Cart's goons one by one before his target jumps outside, with Six following in pursuit. After a brawl, Six fatally stabs him, but Dining Cart reveals in his dying breath that he is Sierra 4, and that Carmichael sent Six to kill one of his own. Before he dies, Four gives Six a necklace with a chip containing information that can bring Carmichael and his cronies down. Carmichael contacts Six after, and he denies recovering anything from Four's dead body. Six then switches clothes with a civilian before going in an internet cafe and logging onto a computer, to try and see what is on the chip, but he is lacking the password. Six then contacts Fitzroy, who is in Baku, Azerbaijan, to inform him about Four and that Carmichael seems to be a bad guy. Fitzroy says he will look into it and do what he can to assist him. He gives him a location where an airplane will be waiting for him so he can leave Asia. Carmichael suspects Six knows the truth about him, so he employs the help of a former CIA agent, Lloyd Hansen, to get to Six first before his deeds are exposed, even though Brewer is against it, because Hansen is a known sociopath. Carmichael calls Hansen, who is in Monaco torturing a man with electric cables. Hansen is more than happy to go after Six. He finds Fitzroy at a funeral and questions him about Six, but gets no answers, until Hansen mentions Fitzroy's niece, Claire, who was kidnapped as leverage. Six arrives at the extraction point in Chiang Mai and gets greeted by Fitzroy's men, who are waiting on him. But as they leave, Fitzroy contacts the leader and tells him to quietly take Six out. However, Six is one step ahead of them and begins to fight and kill off the team one by one, before causing the plane to blow up and crash. He manages to land safely in Turkey, thanks to a parachute he steals from one of the men in mid-air. He contacts Fitzroy, who tells him that Hansen is blackmailing him by kidnapping Claire. Hansen hits Fitzroy for blowing his cover, and tells him that he will put a bounty on Six's head so big, that even his most loyal allies won't hesitate to put a bullet in his head. A flashback from two years ago shows Six and Fitzroy in London, where they meet with Sierra's handler, Margaret Cahill. Fitzroy has to leave on a mission just as his address and family contacts is leaked, so Six is tasked with babysitting and protecting Claire, who has a heart condition. Six bonds with Claire and takes a liking to her, even getting her medical attention when she faints. An assassin breaks into Fitzroy's house at night, attempting to kill Claire, but Six makes short work of him. Back in the present, Six goes to Vienna to meet with his contact, Laszlo Sosa. Six wants his help in getting him a new alias so he can go rescue Claire, but Sosa betrays him and drops him through a trap door, so that he can collect the bounty money. Not long after, Hansen and his goons arrive to get Six, but when Sosa demands his money, Hansen shoots him dead. Six sets up a trap as he breaks the pipes and fills the hole with water and sets off an explosion that takes most of Hansen's guys out. He breaks out and kills the other goons before Hansen gets the upper hand on him. Six drops a grenade and makes his escape, but Hansen catches up, but before he can kill him, Miranda shoots a tranquilizing dart at Hansen's butt. Miranda is mad at Six because she was questioned and suspended by Carmichael for his actions after the Bangkok mission. She tranquilizes him as well and puts him in the trunk. Hansen returns to Croatia where Claire is being kept in a mansion, and Fitzroy is brought back to her. Hansen also has his team there, along with Brewer, who chews him out for kidnapping a former CIA agent and his family. After his goons take Claire away, Hansen tortures Fitzroy by ripping off his fingernails for info on Six, but Fitzroy never budges, not until Hansen suggests to torture his niece next. Meanwhile, Six wakes up and Miranda tells him she is bringing him in to explain to Carmichael that she had nothing to do with his actions. But Six convinces her by telling her that they had him kill Four and now they want him dead, so when he is gone, they will most likely go after Miranda. Miranda drives to Margaret's home in Prague. She has received the chip from Six and has decrypted the password. She reveals that it contains all of Carmichael's shady deals and abuse of power. 
Hansen's guys quickly catch up and several of his goons surround Margaret's home. After some gunfire, Margaret gives Six and Miranda a chance to escape by using herself as bait. Once the assassins reach her, Margaret blows herself up, along with the bad guys in the apartment. Six and Miranda are chased throughout the city, leading to more gunfire, stabbings, killings and explosions, as they fend off their pursuers. With all his teams dead, Hansen resorts to sending his own assassin, Lone Wolf. Six and Miranda go to a hospital, where Six tracks Claire's location by using a signal from her pacemaker. Lone Wolf attacks them, leading to a two-on-one fight in which he comes on top. He manages to take away the chip from Six and wound them both badly, before making his escape. Six and Miranda steal a cop car and break in an animal clinic where Six tends to his wounds, while telling Miranda about how he ended up in jail in the first place. He killed his father for abusing him and his brother. The two make it to Croatia and initiate a full-on assault against Hansen and his goons, who are barricaded in their fortress. More assassins are taken out by Miranda, who distracts them with a grenade launcher, while Six finds and saves Fitzroy and Claire. As they make their way out, Fitzroy is fatally wounded and opts to stay behind in order to give Six and Claire a chance to escape. He uses a grenade to blow himself up along with more assassins. Meanwhile, Miranda fights Wolf, where they nearly kill each other, until Wolf decides this is not worth the effort and money. He gives her the chip, saying that he no longer wishes to work for dishonorable people like Hansen. Meanwhile, Hansen catches up to Six and Claire, and he takes Claire hostage. Six chases him through a hedge maze before they end up at a fountain. Six empties and drops his gun so Hansen releases Claire. Despite her protests, Six tells her to run so she can be safe. The two men fight in the fountain, with Hansen almost gaining the upper hand until Six manages to overpower him. Before Six can kill Hansen himself, Hansen is shot dead by Brewer, who was not happy with how Hansen handled everything. She also shoots Six in the leg and tells him they are going to pin the entire series of events on Hansen, and paint him as a corrupt rogue agent. She also threatens Claire in order to keep Six in line. Six is to be sent to a maximum security prison. Carmichael and Brewer meet with their higher-ups and sweep the whole mess under the rug, with Carmichael destroying the chip to avoid any consequences. They make Six and Miranda compliant in their cover-up, for Claire's sake, but when they visit Six, they are both shocked when they find out that he has escaped their custody. Claire is now in a secret location with armed men guarding her. She hears gunshots as the door opens. Six has come to save her. They reunite and he takes her away, so they can be free together. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon.